What's poppin', homies? After a year-long fun, exciting, taxing, and emotional grind, I am finally making the LM guide that I promised after getting sub one hour. While there are a few miscellaneous guides out there, with this series I'd like to produce the go-to guide for all levels of play. We are going to take the game room by room with hopefully no more than two videos per area. While I'd love to get straight into the game, there are a few terms and concepts every runner should be familiar with. So without further ado, let's get right into the prologue of this series, So You Want to Speedrun Luigi's Mansion, Tech and Glitches. Map glitch is an essential trick that every runner should use to eliminate the map for the remainder of the time their console is on. Don't worry, soft resets throughout the run will not hinder the trick from continuing to work. This is done by going into the training room and stopping on the third text box. Once there, hold X, B, and start to reset the console. Immediately begin to mash A and Y. If done correctly, the game will snap to black or even sometimes flash green. If unsuccessful, the game will fade to black. After the trick is done successfully, if attempted again, you will only get the fade to black. R pumping is a strat that allows runners to stabilize the boo to get 10 HP for 15 cycles. Being able to get 150 HP consistently allows us to get most of the boos we will need to complete the run in one cycle. While this strat is fairly easy to pull off, it does have its nuances. It is possible for the boo to double cackle, meaning they will cackle twice and you will potentially miss out on 10 HP. Double cackles can be caused by different things, the boo being too far away, too close, or even too high above you. Tech skips allow runners to skip EGAD text after sucking up a boo by sucking up a sheet-like item right after the boo. Typically these skips have to be set up, but in some situations they are done with no preparation and very precisely. Runners typically play the Japanese version to save roughly 25 seconds in text and for a JP exclusive tech skip that is done twice. From the perspective of Luigi, ensuring he goes through the left door of any double door, you will save roughly one second. Trying to enter through the middle will cause Luigi to go through the right door. Sometimes, when you think he is on the left side, he can still go through the right door. To prevent this, I try to hold a northwest angle on the control stick after pressing A. While this time save is small, it does add up to roughly 16 seconds through the whole run. Flashlight or vacuum cancels use the element in the vacuum to cancel the animation of Luigi pulling out the flashlight or the vacuum. This is done by pressing down L all the way when the animation would normally happen. This will be useful anytime you enter a dark area from the light area or simply need access to the vacuum quickly. By pulling out the Game Boy Horror before a ghost spawns, in a lot of situations we can skip the animation of Luigi getting frightened. Most notably, this strat is used in the armory where it is needed to set up a triple. While this only saves time in certain situations, it is definitely good to get in the habit of doing it as much as possible so that when you do need it, it's natural. Twirling is the manipulation at the end of a suck-up to force the ghost twirling into the vacuum animation. While this time save is small, if done consistently, you can save a lot of time throughout the run. And last but not least, boo dragging. Dragging boos is an extremely complicated strat that allows runners to move boos in a room throughout the suck-up. In short, this strategy is done with rhythmic R pumping and movement, whilst adjusting the height of the boo between R pumps. This is useful in that it can help save some steps in a few situations, but most importantly, it makes Breaker Boo one cycle possible. While this can sound scary, Breaker Boo is not needed to complete a run of Luigi's Mansion. Boo dragging is very in-depth and will take a while to cover, so I will have a whole separate video for this strat. And that's really it. Thankfully this game doesn't have too many insanely hard strats or any frame-perfect clips. If you enjoyed the video, a like goes a long way, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching the first video in my speedrun tutorial series, so you want to speedrun Luigi's Mansion.